Hi, Judd here. Frankly, feeling pretty tired and lazy today, but what the heck. I had to wash the cars yesterday because the Bondo dust was all over them, you know, and you can't do anything over dust. So I actually spent a, an hour or so doing that and then running errands, trying to find primer. I wanted to get some paint on primer because I don't want to spray and have to tape everything down and this is not like a high class job so and I got a lot of little spots to do so I wanted to get a can of primer and I can't believe paint prices these days I hope you don't have to buy any paint anyway so we'll just give you a quick little tour of what's going on I used the no mix finish primer on this it's the red stuff to fill in those little divots and sanded that down I also fixed a, a couple of spots on my bench top with that hit another spot down here hit that Got a spot up there. Didn't need any primer there, but I sanded that down, got that ready for uh, primer. I'm gonna hit that down there with primer, although I haven't done anything on there, but the Bondo can go over primer, so no problem. And then up along here on the roof line, I found a bunch of little tiny rust spots that untreated will develop. And I've gotta prime and paint the uh, table top rim so I've done, I got an old shower curtain. That's what my water does to a clear shower curtain. My water is horrible. So I, I got that propped up on clothespins so I can paint that. I've shaken that for the last half hour, but uh, it needs some more stirring in there. This is the heavy rust. Primer for heavy rust, heavily rusted areas. I have another one, which is primer for lightly rusted areas. I probably should have got the lightly rusted areas because I've already treated everything with rust uh, converter. Whatever they got in here, there's still a light and dark showing. It's not mixing totally. Oh, nice. Nice coverage. I'll spray paint this black when I finish after this sets up. Okay, good on that. Uh, yeah. I just realized something. I thought this was gray primer, uh, which would have been almost invisible on this car. But what the hell? Yeah, a little spot up top side. I looked up paint for redoing this original surface. And it's like a 10 step process with three different products. It's a, one of them glow through things. So it's like, I'm not really worried about going to try and, I'm not going to be trying to duplicate that. I'm just trying to add some preservation to this car. Getting this primer on, the idea of this is just to put an end to the continual rusting. Because it's wet out here every morning. So this will just get all the spots sealed up for now. This is something you'll never see in a body shop. <laughs> they got all the spray equipment and the spray booths and all that stuff. But you can see even there, that looks a hell of a lot better than it used to be. A little divot there, I'll hit the finish filler. Oh no, more rust blisters. Ah. Like I said, the job keeps growing.
You can see that's not really well formed. the idea. The job keeps growing. I keep seeing new spots. Man, oh man, I could probably spend the next year patching this thing. But you get the idea, so basically I'm going to end off the series here and uh, wish you all well. And uh, happy day to you. P.S. I'm also cleaning the pool. It's getting warm around here now. I wanted to go in the pool this morning. <laughs>